you live in a world of illusions or if you have known the language Hindi you must have heard this is all a Maya Nagri Maya Jal so I wanted to talk about illusions today let me ask you as a child in school did you do the experiment of pencil in water what happens when you put pencil in water if you look here pencil looks broken and that is an illusion but we know pencil is not broken and if I take this out we can prove pencil is not broken so even though the pencil looks broken as long as we know that it is just an illusion we can be content we can have the peace that when I take the pencil out of water I can still use it and it is whole it is whole it's not broken so this is the same thing our masters are telling us that this mind when we are first born where were we what were we we were spirit complete and whole but when we took on a body and we got a mind a thinking mind we are in illusion we are in the world of illusion so if we look at the world from here the portion that's underwater we will feel the conflicts we will feel that this is our identity we get attached to what we think we own the tangible things the things that are going are only temporary things that are going to get destroyed things that we see we touch we feel with our senses are all temporary and we start to think that that's our identity that that's our reality when we get so attached then there are conflicts in our mind there is pain and this mental pain this emotional pain then manifests in our body as disease so if we want to heal physically if we want to heal emotionally mentally we have to get to the point where we can realize that we have identified our true nature of being whole to illusions of the false reality false identity that is going to disappear one day many people who had near-death experiences what does that mean people who clinically died and then came back they were able to transcend the mind the field of illusion and realize that their identity was pure love it was not based on fear it was not based on hate jealousy greed and all of those em the emotions that bind us to the world of illusions that their true identity was love and from there many people's lives transformed because now even though they came back into their body they knew from within every cell of their body 
knew what their true identity is. Now you don't have to die to have this realization. And this is what our scriptures, our masters, yogis, saints, sages, for thousands of years, they're telling us that we can harness this power of realization that who we truly are, we are this whole spirit, we are part of God, God is part of us, we, our true nature is divine, that we continue to practice detaching from our mind, transcending our mind. This is what the perfect masters have done. They have transcended their mind. And so they look everything from the higher perspective. And what does that mean? Higher perspective or what we call spiritual perspective, that even though they are in the world of illusions, they know that it is the world of illusions every breathing moment. They know that. They don't think that. They don't have to remember that. They do not have to believe that. They know it. Just like you know your name. You don't have to think about your name. You don't have to believe that your name is such and such. You know your name. Even in sleep, somebody calls out your name. You wake up. You know it. That's what I call knowing. So when you know every breathing moment, even when you are asleep, you know that my identity is pure love, that I am in the image of God, God is in me and I am in God, then even though you're in the world, you're not of the world. And then you're not deluded by the illusions. You know it is the world of illusions, but then it becomes a divine play. So if you have heard of Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, this is all my Leela. Leela means play. This is all divine play. So that is where the practice of meditation comes in. Meditation is teaching you to detach from your mind consciously. Now, when you have deep sleep for th about that one hour, you don't even know where you are. You don't know what you possess. You don't know who your relatives are. You don't even know what your to-do list is for the day. You have no recognition or remembrance of anything at all and that is why deep sleep is so refreshing because in that deep sleep you are completely disconnected from your mind and if we do that practice consciously every day take one minute two minute five minutes and yogis do it for hours and hours, however much you can start out with, the practice is to learn to detach from the mind. All the biggest inventions, discoveries, if you ever hear the scientists who have done the inventions and discoveries, or anybody who has a great idea, and sometimes it happens to you also, where you are working on a very difficult problem, maybe it's a math problem or something you are wanting to discover the solution, you can't find it. What do you say sometimes? Well, I'll sleep on it. And in your deep sleep, you get detached. From your mind and you are able to find the solutions all the solutions are already there did you know that the lock is made after the key is made so the solution is there before the problem exists 
So all the solutions to all the problems already exist. If we detach from our mind, even for one minute, and we practice that, and we know that even though this looks like a broken pencil, even though this looks like unusable pencil, once you take it out of this whirlpool of mind, it is whole and it can be used. It is complete. So this is one of the message of our masters. I invite you to next time you do this experiment yourself, that you remind that you, yourself that you are whole and enjoy, enjoy this world of illusion. It is only a temporary world of illusion. And sometimes when you're feeling extremely stressed out, just take, do some deep breathing and remind yourself, this is a temporary world. Solutions all exist. And if I can just take a quiet moment to watch myself in my third eye, which is the space between the eyebrows, and remember that this world is temporary. It is a world of illusions that I am in essence complete and whole. Then there will be enough space created for the solution, for the relief, for the peace to come in. I invite you to share your experiences with me, to share your thoughts, your comments, and I wish you an enormously joyful, playful day. Namaste.